Today, we are talking our actual budget plan for the month of February. And yes, here in the Valencia household, we are budgeting for another government shutdown and hoping it doesn't happen. So walk with us as we go through every little cent that we are planning on spending in the month of February or not spending or spending. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I have been paying off debt for the last 34 months and we are killing it. Today we're going to go over what we have planned in the budget for February and because there is this potential for another government shutdown, we are keeping it tight. I mean, absolutely only essentials. And trust me, I have an Amazon cart that is kind of getting big. Okay, not really. It's got like two things in it that I am just waiting until the budget is cleared. You know, hairspray. I need hairspray for Melina. It's a thing. So our income this month is not our normal income. Our income is just Mauricio's paychecks, plus what we have left over from the hoarding of money in January. So on the first of the month, we dropped all the money from our savings account into our checking account because we generally operate on a zero-based budget here. And this budget is sort of zero-based, kind of, but not really, but kind of. You'll see. It'll make sense in a minute. Our income for the month of February is $9,758. So we are going to spend as little of that as possible, all while keeping all of the people we pay regularly happy and making sure our payments get paid, but we're gonna try and keep it as low as possible. The first item in the budget, as always, is our storage unit. We pay $270 for a storage unit, and if you don't know why we have a storage unit, don't tell me to sell it because I'm not selling the stuff in the storage unit. But seriously, I will link you to a video down in the description box or up in the eye in the sky. And if you wanna know why we have a storage unit, it really does make sense. In our utilities category, we have our phone bill for 189 and we are not paying anything to Skype. So Verizon was gonna work with us, but obviously since they are since we've gotten our paycheck, they're obviously not going to work with us anymore. So we have to pay our phone bill and that is absolutely fine. Our phones are essential here. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. I live on my phone. I'm on my phone right now. So we took out Skype altogether and that is zero. And Mauricio is communicating with Columbia via WhatsApp mostly. And so somebody had suggested Google Hangouts and I was like, dude, why didn't I think of that? That was genius. In our food category, we have groceries for $250 and we are still continuing to to spend minimally on groceries i really do miss home chef though i really 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 love the meal prep program service i don't even know what you want to call it but i do miss it i am looking forward to having that come back at some point soon and then we have 40 dollars in there for school bucks because melina is eating us out of house and home the child she's going to be like taller than me by the time she's in third grade. This is what I've decided. In the transportation category, we are still staying off the toll roads altogether, no tolls for us. And we have put in $60 for gas because Mauricio, now that he's going to school, I should do a video on why he's going to school and what, what he's doing because that's actually pretty fiscally responsible of us. Yeah, the way we're doing it, I'm pretty pretty impressed at how intelligent we're being about him going back to school. But since he is going back to school, we are not commuting together every day. So we need to fill up two cars with gas. And so we do ride together half of the week and then the other half of the week that he drives separately. So in the insurance and tax category, that section had gotten significantly decreased, but we are back to paying the full payments for those. So that will be $219 for USAA car and renters insurance, 95 something or other. It's 96. I rounded up for USAA life insurance, $12 for CMFG life insurance, 
and 3583 for Mauricio's life insurance. And in the health category, we, as always, have a lot going on. We have $100 in there for medicine for Mauricio. We are actually looking at potentially going to a different specialist because that first specialist is out of pocket for Melina. And we're not getting much reimbursed. We are toying with the idea of finding somebody in network. We're really working very hard to find somebody sufficient in network. So we will only have minor co-pays rather than that huge multi-hundred dollar bill. Then we have a hundred dollars in there for medicine for Melina. She's up to like five medicines, I think, four medicines, somewhere around there. So it's, it's getting up there costly wise. We have a appointment with Melina's third specialist this month. So that is another $35 copay. Mauricio has a neurology appointment, which is another $35 copay. And I have a dentist appointment, which I have no idea. Usually my cleanings are covered hundred percent by my dental insurance. So I didn't put anything in there. I don't think I'll have to pay anything. I'm sure I don't have cavities. And in our sinking funds, we are paying all our sinking funds like we have been the whole time because legitimately our sinking funds are literally us moving money from one checking account to a savings account in another bank. So it doesn't cost us anything to do it. And that money is a lot safer over in our sinking funds account because I'm not going to screw it up because it's already there in its own little designated account and put it towards debt because that could happen. Yes, it's a thing. So we have $1,000 for our trip to Columbia in April. Our summer camp sinking fund is $200. Our medical sinking fund is $150. Our car repair replace sinking fund is $100. Our Christmas sinking fund is $300. Our emergency trip to Columbia is $100. Miscellaneous school expenses for Melina is $50 and we are not funding our emergency fund or the work travel fund because those are both fully funded. So in the lifestyle category, we have all of our iTunes back up and running because Mauricio never actually canceled them. He was supposed to, but he didn't. So we just went ahead and left those. My Audible, I put on hold for three months. It allows you to suspend the account. And I went ahead and did that. And I'm going to go ahead and keep doing that until, because you can only do it once a year. So I'm going to keep doing that until the government is fully funded. So we don't have to cancel it should this happen again. So I'm not going to be paying Audible this month or next month or the month after that for right now unless the government becomes fully funded again. And then Amazon Music, we also didn't cancel that. Mauricio dropped the ball. That's what I'm going to say. He hears me. He knows he dropped the ball. He's yeah. in. And then February is PlayStation 4 month, which means we have to pay the annual fee for the PlayStation 4. In the Molina category, we are going to pay her before and after care for $608. We're going to pay her swimming lessons for $99. We're going to pay for her Spanish classes for $280. As of right now, we don't have any miscellaneous school expenses, and we're not doing her online study program until the government is fully funded. So there was a huge amount of controversy for us paying for Melina's Spanish lessons while the government was on full shutdown. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Mauricio and I have tried to teach Melina Spanish. It did not work at all. We tried very hard. She would refuse to completely speak Spanish to us. It was ridiculous. So now by having this teacher, all of a sudden she started speaking Spanish to us again, and we don't want to lose that. And the fact that Melina cannot communicate with her grandparents very well is upsetting to both Mauricio and I, and we need to remedy that. So that is why we went ahead and kept it in the budget. If you don't have a family where there are two dominant languages, you probably don't understand this as a necessity. But imagine your child not being able to talk to your parents. Grandparents love their grandkids. It's a thing. And so we want Melina to be able to talk to her grandparents. So that is why we went ahead and kept that in. Swimming, there's no real excuse. We just didn't want her to lose that place because she loves swimming with her friend. So it, it's not, I'm not justifying it. 
I'm trying to explain our logic in it. And it's okay if you don't agree with it. We're still going to pay it. So in our cash category, we have gone down to almost nothing here. We have a mammoth pile of dry cleaning. If you follow me on Instagram, you have actually seen my dry cleaning pile. It's getting big. It's overflowing the basket. But we are not going to the dry cleaner until the government is fully funded. So we have $20 in there for Sally Beauty because I have to buy hair color because my roots are, look at this, oof, oof roots. So I have to color my hair and well, I don't have to, but I'm going to. So we do it our, myself. Mauricio does it. Let's be honest here. So I've got to get some hair color for that. And then Mauricio is going to have to get a haircut because you know, his hair grows. It's a thing. And a bunch of you said, well, why don't I cut his hair? So here's the thing. No. <laughs> so I have a tremor. It, because I have dystonia, I have a tremor. So here, let me show you. So I can't hold my hands perfectly still. So like when I, I never paint my own nails because when I paint my own nails, it's like me painting like the whole ends of my fingers. And so me trying to cut Mauricio's hair would not go well. I use little clippers to trim up the edges and it doesn't always go well. Trust me, it's a good thing he can't see the back of his head. But he can see the front of his head, so no. That is never, ever, ever going to happen. And in the YouTube category, we have TubeBuddy for $4.50, Backblaze for $5, and Morning Fame for $9. And so I went to cancel TubeBuddy and Morning Fame with the hopes of getting them back when this is all over. And I discovered both TubeBuddy and Morning Fame, I am like in a special subscription program that if I cancel, my payment is going to be a lot larger. And so I didn't want to cancel those because I, I know those are things that I use regularly and I, I don't want to have to pay a lot more for them for years because I didn't want to pay for them for a month or two now. So we went ahead and kept those in the budget. And then at Mauricio, we have nothing for parking for him again this month. He's finding free parking. And in our online shopping category, we have a big old goose egg because we're not buying anything. Like I said, Melina needs hairspray. We're not buying it. And in the cushion category, we also have nothing. Zip, zero, zilch, nothing. Because no. In the giving category, we have one giving sinking fund that is still getting funded, but we are, other than that, we are not giving. We're not, yeah, it's a, it's a new thing for Wendy and Mauricio. No giving for Wendy and Mauricio. So that sinking fund is $100. And debt. So here's how we're dealing with debt right now. We are paying the minimums, the absolute minimums, sort of. So our visa, we are paying $150. Our CarMax car loan, we're paying $465. We are paying nothing to our tax loan because it's a personal loan. We are paying $500 to USAA. So here's what we're doing with USAA. USAA actually pushed off our payments through March. And we're going to go ahead and then they just made us pay a little minimum payment in March. So we're going to go ahead and pay in February. That way, if we get shut down again we will be paid ahead and then they can do the same thing for us down the road. So we're just paying a little bit of our payment in, in February and then we'll do the same thing in March. Should everything be back to normal, then we'll go back to our normal payments. And then our school loan, we're paying that for 184.56. And so now it's time for our new category because obviously if you add all these things up, we are no longer operating on a zero-based budget, but we love zero-based budgets. So I added in a category to make this a zero-based budget because every dollar is a zero-based budget software. And so I added this category. Yep, it's a thing. So this money is just going to sit in our checking account and we are not going to spend it. And if we have, you know, little things that, that were not planned here and there, we do have the money to cover it, but we're going to do our absolute best to take that pile of money, which would normally go to debt and put it into March. And then come March, hopefully this will be all over and we will have a ginormous debt payment. 
Oh my goodness. We are so excited about March. Fingers crossed that this is all fixed and we can pay off our visa. Yes. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.